Christmas special. Christmas? Alright, how do we do the fucking <laughs> intro to the show? Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends. You're being haunted on me. This is our <laughs> podcast where we talk about shit. Shit. <laughs> She, she. I just took over. <laughs> just took over Chippy's <laughs> Chippy's job. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> sorry for real. I'm gonna, tr- I'm gonna do the intro. All right. Do I say welcome or do I say what the fuck do I say? <laughs> you I say forgot. hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Haunts R Us, the podcast where we are haunted on Maine. Yeah, that that. Happy yeah. holidays. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Go. Oh, dance, monkey, <laughs> dance. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, so, hello and Come welcome. On, hey, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure this is the part that mm. loves the most. <laughs> <laughs> Just hurry up and say it. All right. Hello and welcome to Haunts R Us, the podcast that's haunted on Maine. I'm your host, Cheeb, and today I'm joined by my two co-hosts, Thotty and Nikita. Tell us about yourselves, ladies. Hello, I'm Thotty, and I love Christmas time. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I love Christmas. It's great. Santa's Hello, my, my favorite. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nikita. I am not a changeling because I can actually celebrate this. <laughs> well, the UL. Not, I, I'll celebrate Christmas too. Santa ain't that bad. He brings like me it. gifts. So. Ch- changelings girl. can't celebrate Christmas? I was thinking that exactly. <laughs> yeah, what's the lore? Like, I'm not can't? a changeling. I'm not a changeling. It sounds like information only a changeling would know. Yeah, only changelings know that they can't celebrate Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> different holiday, welcome d- to different the, beliefs. the Haunts R Us Christmas special. Remember Yay. how last Christmas we talked about a bunch of Catholic stuff and no one listened to that? Well, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't there, so I don't know. <laughs> Well, this time we're going to talk about fucking pagan shit, because we know there's a bunch of fucking witches on this thing. (laughs) That's right, I said it. This is a witch podcast. It is a witch podcast. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Slowly becoming it, and I'm living for it. (laughs) So, today I got my two resident witches, pagans, wiccans, not warlocks. Warlocks are mushrooms, remember that. (laughs) Yep. Thotty and Nikita. Yeah, you guys are witches, right? Yeah, man. I'm a baby, I'm a baby witch. I'm, I'm still learning. Yeah, we're both baby witches. I would not consider myself... Uh, or I guess... Never mind, I don't know. What the fuck is a pagan? Do, is, do they just mean pagan as in, like, old religion? Or pagan as in, like, white people magic? Because pa- that's not me. Um, pagan as in old religion. Mm. Yeah, I think never mind, then yes. people say pagan we talk about old religion which we're going to talk about some old religions and then we're going to talk about yule which is the thing that you guys know about i don't know what yule is i'm catholic i'm scared (laughs) you it's okay yule is just everything that you already do but with magic yeah yeah basically it it basically is (laughs) yeah it's just it's just all the fun parts that don't uh actively include jesus such as giving a gift. Yes. Uh, uh, stocking Spending time with your families. <laughs> stockings. Uh, you know, I going feel door like... Going door to door and singing shit. Yeah. yeah. Basically. I feel like Sing, people... Um, singing praises. I feel like folks, like, a lot of religions and old-timey... Well, I mean, like, just anywhere. All cultures have, like, winter celebrations. And I think the reason for that is because, like... A lot of people would die in the winter. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah so so like, oh, like, shit. You gotta fucking hang out with them before, like, fucking... Because it gets, like, super cold after Christmas. Like, I hate after <gasps> Christmas because, like... Coming. It's not cute anymore when it's Mm-mm. cold after it's Christmas. Like, I'm over yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we're all over it. We're, like... Dude, like I'm so over it. It's freezing in my freaking 
uh, I love being cold. Now. I love being cold. I'm a fat bitch. I need it to be cold. <laughs> I'm like, yes, finally, a, a, a month where I won't sweat. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm currently freezing cold, and it's amazing. My feet, icicles. <laughs> I like it. No, don't talk. <laughs> you guys, can we just stop talking about feet on Haunts R Us? Oh, we got notes Sorry. from the producer. The producer <laughs> who wrote a note to me was just like, no more feet jokes. Oh, man. Oh, but those are the best. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but how else would they know that I am selling them currently on Patreon? <laughs> Well, you gotta show I them. Fans. <laughs> look, I thought look. it was OnlyFans that you're doing that. Huh? Look, we, we, we save the OnlyFans. We save the plugs for the end of the podcast. Oh my bad. <laughs> That's it. Was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so, I guess to start us off. Oh yeah. What Yo. do you know of your of your holiday? Tell yeah. us. So, I'm Catholic. I'm sorry. I can hear the booing. I'm Disgusting. evil Christian, I guess. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the goth version of Christian. So, like, <laughs> even Catholics know that, like, even Catholics know that the 25th of December is not actually Jesus' birthday. Like, we don't actually know when Jesus was born, but... What the Catholic Church loves to do is appropriate pagan holidays and make it Christian. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Can you elaborate? <laughs> yeah, for real. Hold on, I'm, I'm reading, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> she brought up the books like I did. My bad. <laughs> yeah. You brought up books? Do you have the Bible in your hand? Do you have the Bible nice. in your hand? I can see them in the podcast, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oh, fuck, oh, shit. Do you have the Ugh. Catholic handbook in your hand? <laughs> My, the Bible? <laughs> the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, the Bible says <laughs> that Jesus is born on the 25th. Everyone Does knows it? this. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, the, the Bible doesn't have, like, any specific dates. In fact, like... The story of, like, Jesus, for the most part, in the Bible is, like, relatively short. Mm. And, like, all I know is that in some versions of the Bible, I think it's, like, the, the what is it? The King James Version. It's very, it's very important I specify which Bible it is for this. Dude, I don't think any fucking, theo any fucking, what is it, theologians? What's the fucking word for people who study religion? Theology? I don't know if any... I have no idea sense. if that... Yeah, Theologist, I have no idea. The study of Theo? Yeah, Theologistus. I don't know if that's the type of audience that we attract. But Let's I remember, like, when I read the passage, it ends with, like, and then Joseph knew Mary, and I'm just like, what the fuck were they doing the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he didn't know her? Just like, you know, like, we're, we're doing all of this stuff, but, you know, I don't know her, you know? Mary, you know? <laughs> we hung out, but I don't I know, know of her. her. <laughs> anyway, do you think this was just a cover up they're like I didn't get her pregnant I don't even know her <laughs> anyways in, in the bible child support, child support. Fuck her, in I the bible know you know when people say to know someone biblically yeah no <laughs> that, that means to fuck them oh <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes, I know my husband biblically. <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> what? That's such a weird way of saying it. Yeah, dude. Just like I know my husband. I fucked him. <laughs> Man, the Bible, <laughs> I, the Bible, I, mad horny. It oh, really <laughs> is, dude. But I don't oh, know. is it really? I, I, it really is. It's there's like it a is. story where like, okay. I know, Actually, I know that no one cares about when I go off about the Bible on the podcast. No, I care. Because I, <laughs> I see care. the numbers. 
No, I can't. And, and every time we have like a like a, a religious episode, they're just like, I don't gotta fucking watch this shit. It doesn't have the little dolls <laughs> on it. It doesn't, oh, have no. dra- it doesn't have the draw- drawings of the dolls. little rag dolls. I don't want to watch it. The hot dolls you were said. It's okay. I'll put us as elf on the shelf. Oh, yeah, I forgot we talked about elf on the shelf last year. Yeah, and then, like, no one watched those episodes. How dare they? I did such a good... Do- <sighs> that elf on the shelf drawing was one of my favorites. How dare. Yeah, you worked really hard on it. It didn't have it our did. little dolls on us. It didn't eyes. know it was us. <laughs> They were like, I, never, I don't know what the, how that started at all. Hmm? What's that? I don't know how that started at all. Like, I literally, like, to me, it's like, yeah, everything goes. And then all of a sudden, like, Elf on the Shelf is all popular. I'm like, oh, the fuck is that sitting if my, you watched our shelf? episode on Elf on the Shelf, you would know where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it. Anyways, there's yeah. a story in the Bible where two daughters fuck their dad. Anyways. Ah! <laughs> well. <laughs> what? Ah. Well, <laughs> you know we have those. Uh, we have some. Uh, we have some of those what? kinds of books at my store too. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Thotty works in the retail business of uh, selling adult novelties. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple magazines about that. Yeah, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to talk about pre pre Columbian Mexican traditions right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, but the Bible's so funny, man. Uh, the I like hearing about the Bible, crazy, dude. I, I feel know. like I feel like if given the opportunity, I would love an episode where we just talk about weird shit about the Bible. And I love oh, I could it. I could do that if you guys give me. <laughs> it burns me. I, I went it to Bible school. Me. Oh damn! Went to it yeah, burns I don't... me. It knows I'm in sin. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that our audience is par- particularly cle- keen on. Like, if you if you want me to tell you guys like fucked up Bible stories, like say something about it in the comment section. Please, please just say yes did... so I can have it. <laughs> We did, like, a whole episode about, like, Saint Nick and, like, who he really was and, like, how all of his body parts were, like, mummified and, like, sold off to, like, various different places. Hell yeah. And uh, no one watched that episode. I think it's because we didn't do, like, art with the dolls on it, so they didn't know it was us, but I I took it personally because I really like that episode. I really like what you did with the You went some, you lose some. Yeah, it's so okay. I'm just like, oh, I guess I guess our audience doesn't want me to talk about fucking Catholic shit. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have just not have caught people's eyes with the because yeah. it didn't have the dollies. It's okay. Anyways, go back and listen. It's called Jingle Bell Run <laughs> because of the JoJo reference. Because Please. Jingle, because because there's. A Joe, look. Anyways, pre-Columbian Jojo Mexican festival. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us. So, tell us. tell us what other people did for Christmas. Before time. the Spanish came into Mexico and just like fucked everything up, as we had, do. as they do, we had what is it fucking called? Did I not write down the fucking name? <laughs> you did not. And you were telling me, like, five times what it was. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't write down the name of the book. Oh, holiday. no. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a disaster. Editor, be sure to take this part out. You I, didn't do it last time. No! <laughs> Look, okay. So, pre-Columbian holidays. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to pronounce it to the best of my ability. So, bun... Quetzalitzi, I think is what it's called. So the Aztecs had Ban Quetzalitzi, and it was a festival that lasted in like the for the entire twenty days of the fifteen month calendar. So Aztecs had a different calendar than us. They had more months. They're cooler than us. We have twelve. <laughs> also, did you know that the Gregorian calendar was actually brought in by the Catholic Church? No. God damn you, Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Catholic Church. Taking Anyways, everything. Taking everything, man. I know. 
I'll stop talking about Catholicism. I know no, my, I our it. audience doesn't care about Catholicism. <laughs> they should care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we got we got cathedrals with like mummies of like popes that serve there. I mean, I don't understand right. why people don't like Catholicism. Anyways, y'all are scary. <laughs> I know, we got like a scary. we got like a cathedral made out of like bones and skulls and shit because we just had so many dead bodies we didn't know I what mean, the fuck to do with them. That's pretty goth though, actually. Yeah. I actually, now that you've said it again, scary, I'm like, but... you know what? Maybe this is all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being all coy because I want the audience to say, "Yeah, I want more Catholic stuff," but I know they're not gonna because they're just like, first of all, this is a podcast about haunted dolls. Why are you coming out here preaching at? <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> you listen to Hans or us and you convert to Catholicism. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're like, you know what? All those God wacky, God. zany stories. <laughs> Dead, your God damns it. <laughs> Bro, you know that we've had, like, the first gamer saint? That's also a thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A gamer saint? A gamer what? saint! What? If you, if you, if you want to hear more about it, you should comment down below if you want <laughs> to talk about more weird Catholic stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, like, you want me to talk about this stuff, but I mean, if you want me to talk about cool Catholic it's stuff, your I'll podcast, talk about you Catholic do stuff. Do whatever fuck you want. It is my podcast. Oh, Fuck you guys, we do what we want. <laughs> we talk about Catholicism for almost 20 minutes before talking about anything having to do with Christmas. Do. You guys kept interrupting me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to have a nice podcast in case I try to have, I'm here for a good time, it's alright. <laughs> I'm just here to talk to my buddies. <laughs> Yeah, for real, dude. We haven't been on in a while. We're a little bit rusty, guys. I don't remember okay. having an episode. I'm just chilling. <laughs> We're just yeah, mentioning it. We gotta give we you some recorded in a long time. <sighs> yeah. We just we just got we just we have filler. We we need to give you information and then we can talk about how we celebrate Christmas. How we yes, Christmas. let's uh, let's do this. Yeah. Anyways, I still haven't finished talking about the pre-Columbian celebration of Pansequalitzi or whatever. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Do it. Pansequalitzi. So it was a twenty-day festivity, and it corresponded with the defeat of the moon. Another big word, Koyokalikswaki. I think is how Oof. it is. So the moon god Koyokla Koyoksla. <laughs> it's so like the moon boom. god boom, boom, ma. so the moon god he gets his ass beat by her, by her oh it's a lady it's a lady god remember those Ooh, ladies are pretty cool yeah so lady yeah. moon god gets her ass beaten by her younger brother <laughs> the aztec sun deity because i'm the Aztec sun deity, because I'm not going to say that name. It looks complicated. It's got <laughs> Z's and shit in it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, man. So, oh. uh... Oh. Oh, go on. No, I was just going to say that, like, uh... Uh, uh... uh what the fuck? Like, old, uh, indigenous, like, me Mexican... And and Central American words are very hard. There's so many Z's yeah. and X's. Yeah. Yay! You did it. Yay! I did it. No, sorry. I was getting bitten by my cat. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's trying. Oh, my God! Don't get a cat, guys. You can't do your podcast. Doggies are cute. I like dogs. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah so the it. festivities <laughs> involve some periodic fasting, which is something that we also see in other religions. And in one particularly violent ritual, uh, there was a designated runner that was forced to cover, like, more or less the extension of modern-day Mexico City in, like, four hours while slaves were sacrificed at a number of symbolic <laughs> locations. So there's just some fucking guy. Apparently... <laughs> That was just running all, of, <laughs> running like the length of Mexico City, and there were a bunch of slaves being, you know, sacrificed 
Which is, you know, something that the Aztecs were known for, or like what we know that the Aztecs are known for. The thing about these ancient cultures is that we don't really know much about them or their traditions because when, like, the Spanish came in, uh, they saw what they were doing, you know, out of context. And, like, they made their own assumptions about it. Mm-hmm. And they recontextualized a lot of the things that they would do. So, like, there's not that much that we know about, like, the Aztec culture. Uh, we're still learning more about it as we go on. Like, we're finding, like, hidden cities, like, all the time in Mexico in the jungles. That's it's right. crazy. I didn't know that. How do we always get but- here? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, colonialism is a big part of uh, Mexican culture. I wrote a whole fucking essay about it. Damn, bitch. So now I gotta talk about it on the fucking podcast. (laughs) Can we just go back to the um, slave murdering again? (laughs) Yeah. So there's a bunch of slaves that are being sacrificed at a number of symbolic locations. And uh, not everyone looked forward to it. Like, we do know that the Aztecs owned slaves and, like, dominated other small cultures. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what episode that we mentioned it, but I remember I mentioned La Malinchichi, Malinchinse, Mm -hmm. in, like, La Llorona episode, who was, like, a slave woman who, like, helped Cortez take over the Aztecs. So, you know. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so... Ultimately, Mr. Fray Pedro de Gante brought and forced Christian converts to the first Christmas celebration in 1528. So that was Mexico's first Christmas, was in 1528. Uh, some cool facts about Fray Pedro. So he was a relative of King Charles. King. He was a relative of King Charles V. People theorized that he was the bastard son of the Emperor Maximilian. And he was allowed to travel the colonies of New Spain as one of the, you know, one of the dudes, man. He's one of the guys (laughs) that got to go to Spain. He's one of the bros. And, like, preach and convert people. Damn. Yeah, so in Mexico, he spent his time as a missionary indoctrinating the indigenous population. And he was beautified by pop. But he was beautified, which means that the Pope essentially said he automatically goes to heaven for all of his good deeds, no questions asked, by Mr. Pope John Paul II. The sequel. The sequel. You're asking me what, what, you were asking me what Pope it was. You're just like, John, is it Paul? (laughs) It's like, it's both, baby. (laughs) John Paul. It's both those for a second time. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <dude>. the sequel <laughs> the popening still pollen yeah, man. So that, that's a cool thing so since 1528 cool uh, Mexicans cra- have also oh sorry what were you saying oh I was gonna say that it's crazy that that's just something that you do for fun but I guess it's still something that we do today is just like travel to <laughs> travel to different places to teach Christianity for some reason. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That was, oh, that like, was another episode. Like, yeah, that's when it was brand spanking new. It's just like, what? Go to, like, New Spain? She's like, what the fuck is New Spain? They don't call <laughs> Mexico New Spain. <laughs> new Spain. <laughs> new Spain. You gotta get a New Spain. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and since, like, 1528, like, Mexicans have had, like, a plethora of, like, Christmas traditions, which, uh, because of the year that this podcast was recorded, uh, a lot of us weren't able to celebrate any of those things. Yeah. It's really weird. I didn't go to any posadas this year. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm Catholic. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys heard. (laughs) I had no idea. (laughs) What? You keep it such a secret. <laughs> you keep it so down low. You don't have like any rosaries or anything. Oh no, not really at all. You don't have several baby Jesuses in your home. Oh, God. <laughs> I've never heard of Jesus. Who is this Jesus? <laughs> who is this Yeshua? I don't know who that is. Jesus, Jesus, on this is that Jesus. <laughs> Damn, man. <gasps>
It's fucking weird, man. This year's fucking weird. Like, this Christmas is in a couple of days, dude. Isn't that crazy? I haven't it made is. a single tamale. I do. I know. We haven't either. That's all I've been thinking about. It's like, man, I missed out on tamales. But it's okay. Tamales. Yeah. Tamales. Oh, and oh, then I'm probably just going to get some from Del Taco like tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude. My thank <laughs> Literally, my Thanksgiving dinner this year was Chick fil A. So. <gasps> dude, my Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner was Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> my, I was at home. It was so good. Finger licking. Good. Mm hmm. And we made ourselves chicken breast because we were supposed to have other people come. And my my mom's boss gave her like this big ass turkey. Mm-hmm. We're like, yeah, we're gonna eat it, and we'll have leftovers. They can take the leftovers. And the day of, they decided they're not coming anymore. <laughs> so we're like, what the fuck are we gonna do with this huge ass turkey? Put it away, and we'll, we'll just get chicken breast and eat that. And we're like, yeah. And we ate that, and now there's still a huge ass turkey in our fridge. And we, don't, we don't know what to do with it. Cool. At all. Eat it. Yeah. What you? What did <laughs> our audience it's do? Too much though. What did you guys eat for Thanksgiving? What'd you do? Did you go to Las Vegas like I did? Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> or did you like? I stayed home. <laughs> Tell us what you did, people. Tell us. I what watched you did. BoJack Horseman. And that's yeah, it's a good show. I like it. Yeah, I got real depressed. <laughs> I hate that show, but I love it. Mm-hmm. It makes me sad. I don't, I don't, if I want to cry, I would see Banana Fish. Banana or Fish. Or Given. The anime? <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Oh, it's anime. The gay anime? <laughs> oh, I want to cry. I should Can I? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Me no, too, baby. I'll never be okay. <laughs> Can I tell you where my mental state is currently? <laughs> Yesterday, I saw a cat video and like openly wept. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's okay. I went to a garden and I started like crying inconsolably. Then I was Bruh. crying. <laughs> Bruh. No, that was a while ago. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I told this you. This was She's yesterday. Like, you got depression, just go to a garden, dude. Gardens are cool. <sighs> There's no garden. Yes. Or make yourself a little garden. I live in LA. There's fucking concrete and that's it. <laughs> just make yeah. it, just put together like, because like how my dad did it, because he made a little garden for us, because we've been, me and my mom has been asking for him for like one for like years and just like get like too long, like three long strips of plywood and two small ones put them together just put dirt and just put little seeds there or get like the or go and buy like the ones that are already grown mm. and just put them there and it's beautiful oh you know what else you know what else you could do is you can go behind the del taco and weep <laughs> i'm gonna go behind <laughs> the del taco <laughs> and weep <laughs> it's okay Get some I've chicken been doing rollers. I've a lot of crying too. Just chicken rollers and, and cry. <laughs> yeah. Same. One time yeah. I cried while eating an orange because I was just oh. like, bro, I could just buy an orange. I, I reverted <laughs> back to a primitive state where I knew that people can't just have oranges year round. And I got really sad because I was just like, bro, I live in 20 whatever and I could just buy an orange whenever I want and that's beautiful. And I cried. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know you want to know what my mental state is at right now i do what's up okay so can you guys play songs right now like if you played a song could you hear it i mean uh yeah okay we'll get an eight so, bit version sock sock monkey play this song Go go to YouTube or whatever and play da- play Galactic Mermaid, and just just listen to it, and that like that whole song is my mental state right now. Yeah, like we could also use it as an song. outro. We'll use it as the <laughs> outro. No. Is it copyrighted? Hold up, hold up. Let me 
Let me see. Okay, let me p- put it on my phone. That way you could just hear it. Sock monkey, edit this out, okay? Sock monkey's just like, you don't tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sock monkey's like, who is this? <laughs> that is my mental state right now. That is my mental state right now. <laughs> what I also haven't had is buñuelo- buñuelos. And that's okay. just like a deep fried pastry that we make around Christmas time. I miss them. Mm-hmm. I haven't had any. I miss food. <laughs> I yeah, too man. miss food, man. It <laughs> this this uh this whole staying indoors thing has reminded me that I can't cook. Oh yeah, my I family can't also can't cook. Oh no, I'm I've been trying to be really nice about it, but yeah, <laughs> they're not good at it. No, we can't go to good restaurants. <laughs> if I want a lettuce, I have to get a Subway. Nothing's open. It's okay. Oh, God. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing should be open. Anyways, Yule anyway. time. What is that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Damn it. What, what is that? Yule time. I don't, I don't know what that is. You guys. Yule time's just questions. Christmas, baby. Tell, t- share with us your culture. It's not my culture. Uh, <laughs> this is a white pig. Okay. <laughs> so, Yuletide is basically it's it's called either Yule or most uh, other people say well like winter solstice. So, um, solstice basically means in Latin, sun stands still. And Yule is Norse for just basically, like, wheel. Wheel? And, yeah, it means wheel. Because well, no, no, it comes from the Norse word uh, lul, L-U-L, and meaning wheel. Oh. So, basically, it's the shortest day, but the longest night of the year, which is December 21st. And it's celebrated all the way to December 25th. And, um... Some things just are a little differently. Some celebrate for one thing. Some celebrate something else. But it just really... Some people don't even celebrate at all. So it's just basically, if you want to celebrate it, you can. If you don't, it's perfectly fine too. And it's just basically, we're just celebrating because it... Like, some... It kind of means just like... It's 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 a symbol of rebirth, basically. Nice. It mean, it's just basically something like, Hey, this is happening... It's time for new things. Oh, is that why we're saying just... Jesus was born right now? That works. No. Huh? No, no, no. I mean, that it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, that's so... what that's what I got off from um from the book that I have, mm. which is the Modern Guide with um, Guide to Witchcraft. Um, by Sky Alexander. Nice. She's a really good author. I love her books. Nice. Little tag in right there. Little tag. What about you, Thotty? Hmm? What about you? What does it mean to you? Um, it's a white holiday to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white holiday? <laughs> That's a white holiday. Get it away. Yeah, yeah see? Um, you, everybody just sells it a little differently. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Did you guys eat the Yule Log? I don't need. I don't know. What, I don't know what a Yule log is. I keep seeing it everywhere. They're it's like, a look, pastry. What? Is, right? What? It's like a little cake. Is it? Well, Yule log is actually supposed to be like a actual log. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Let me see. I I like. I saw it right here. Pagans like, love hey, trees. You also do. You can also do a Yule log. I was like, Yule log. It's not a cake. It's an okay, actual okay, log. So here we go. Okay, here we go. So what she says is that the burning of the Yule log. What? You burn that shit. What? You burn Why it. Why you burn it? So the yeah, so the burning of the Yule. We're so the, the one that the eats. Yule- what else? Yeah, that's eat, a different one. Yule log. <laughs> I want. Okay. I want to hear about the one that eats. I like the one where you can eat it. The e- <laughs> It's it's just a cake. It's just a cake. <laughs> nice. The Yule log oh, yeah, so cake. It says right here, the burning of the Yule log is another ancient tradition by the by which pagans mark the winter solstice. On the eve of Yule, witches build a fire from the wood of nine sacred trees. The center element in the Yule fire is usually an oak log from an oak tree representing strength and longevity. 
though you can use any other wood. Because basically the fire symbolizes the sun's return. And after the sun, the fire burns down, anybody may, co may collect the ashes and wrap them in a piece of cloth. And you can put, you can place this under your pillow and you'll receive dreams that, gui that will guide guide you and give you advice for the coming year. Dang, and we turn that and into then, cake. Yeah, I, I don't know how to like, turn into a, a freaking how to turn into yeah. cake. Freaking cake. I looked it up and I'm like, oh, it is a thing that you make it a cake. Yeah. Why? But it's in the shape of a log. Yeah, so basically what a yule log is is just a thin piece of, of like soft cake with cream in the middle and you just roll it. Mm. And that's what a yule log cake is. They just call it because usually it's called a, it's either called a log cake or yule log, but it's just another thing you guys you guys took from us <laughs> and turned it into something yeah, else. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe they turned it into a cake because the actual like practitioners wanted to still do it but couldn't, so they're like, Part I, the secret, I, I yeah. guess we make cake, make a cake, we eat, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. hey. bro, <laughs> imagine. Favorite. Imagine Juicy. if we do like more Catholic episodes and we get beautified by the church. Wouldn't that be <gasps> fucking crazy? Oh my god, they beautified witches. Mm, they beautified some fucking witches, you're right. Dude, Bro. I'm cursing so much. It's okay, baby. Do children watch this? Is your this? podcast. Do you want to curse? I don't you can think... curse. I hope children aren't watching this. No, me either. Please don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because like we have the cute art with the little rag dolls. I'm just like, yeah, oh, but no, then we, but then, this. but then we open up and we're like, look, this is, I don't fucking know. Let's talk about this the... is for like 16 plus. Mm -hmm. This podcast is officially 16 plus because of all the cursing we do. <laughs> it's like, look, it's it's been a it's been a rough end of the year for all of us. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to speak like this for the rest of the podcast. Like what? Yeah, this is, this is the part of the podcast where we start convincing you to go to bed. <laughs> fix, fix, <laughs> please. Sabrina, please. Let my I'm talking to you directly right now. Please oh, fix, your, fix your sleep schedule. However, if you are driving, please do not fall asleep. <laughs> oh, God, no. I will scream at you. This It's going to be the next two minutes of me screaming. Oh, God. <gasps> no. <laughs> it's like, please, no. Please, no. <laughs> but, yeah. What else do you guys do for for Christmas around this time? Um, um, set up altars. Oh, yeah. If you want, um, it, it's really, everybody celebrates differently. Yeah, man. Yeah. You guys don't do the. I mean, thing if you celebrate you, at all, you guys don't do the thing where you pass around baby Jesus and sing and like kiss him. <gasps> Is that just me? No. I think it's just me. <laughs> no, it will burn my hands. No, we don't do... We do do that for Christmas, and then we also do it for, like, for um, New Year's. We have the baby Jesus, and then we pass him around, and, like, we oh cradle God. him, and, like, we sing songs, and, like, we get, we kiss, like, his forehead or his knee. Yeah. Is this why you That's like That's why my dolls? mom has so many baby Jesuses. Oh, my God. I... I, I don't know. I, like, that... That, to me, like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't think that the day our deities will like that. Passing it them around and giving them smooches. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't. I I currently do not work with any deities. Like mm -hmm. I just sell. I just right now. I'm just working with Mother Moon and Father Sun. Nice. But uh, I I, I just like something like that. It's just like. I don't know that, like, I would love to do that, but at the same, same time, just like, it's kind of disrespectful at the same time, because I'm worshipping you, I, like, I, I, like, I'm, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'll kiss a glow. Well, then you could, you could be, you could be Christian and be a witch too, right? Like, yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah, can. My sister's a, a Catholic witch. Nice. Yeah. I just think the earth is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'll kiss a globe. It's all right. I'll kiss a globe, but I won't. Yeah, or if you don't want to kiss it with your mouth, you son. kiss like you kiss your index finger and like your point. Oh, wait. <laughs> index and pointing finger are the same thing. Yeah. No, index finger is wait. Index finger is your pointer finger. I've hurt myself in my confusion. <laughs> So, 
Because I've I've done like pilgrimages to like churches in Mexico. So there's like always like these different like iterations of like the Virgin Mary and like a lot of people like will kiss like something around them and like if they don't want to kiss the statue or like the thing around them like directly, they'll kiss like their their index finger and like their middle finger and then like they'll press their fingers up against like the statue or like whatever it is. I feel like so if you we don't want to do kiss that. I feel like if you don't want to kiss the statue indirectly, you're a fake Catholic. Yeah, and fake then, fan. There is like statues, like <laughs> I know in Europe that are just like so worn down from like people touching them and like kissing them that they become like smooth and flat. Dang. Yeah, I think that's what I. You know, I think that's why, cause like, I don't know, like some, cause like I don't know how some people, cause okay, so a little while ago, I saw this video that this like. This lady is, like, for some reason climbing this fucking statue that's, like, it's an ancient statue of, like, one of the rarest, one of, one of the rarest statues around that is, like, really good preserved. And she goes and destroys one, and I'm just like, <gasps> the disrespect. There's some hot girl shit. I'm just kidding. She wasn't even, no, she wasn't <laughs> even a hot white girl. She was, like, a trashy white girl. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, like you know, the ones with like, the fake. Was she blonde? Yeah, and it was just like I don't know, like the fact like you you going to touch that something like so so old, but you don't know like the power that has that's behind that. Cause like with me, like with me, like I'm in, I'm more into like if something if something's like so well well taken care of, if something is just like so like particularly like. Like, I believe, like, the statues that you see in, like, um, like, in museums and all that, I believe they hold power. Mm-hmm. Because they're, they've they taken so many years to be made, so how much of that, uh, how much of the artist's feeling is inside that statue? How much of the, how much of their, like, their love, their frustration, their loyalty, their determination is inside that statue? So, like, I feel like whenever you, you've, like, you've put so much um, effort into something it takes like it takes a part of you it takes a part of your energy mm-hmm. so like that's why I just like whenever like that's I think that's why I don't want to do that because like even though I commissioned someone to make this statue for me they did it being in tuned with that particular statue with that particular deity that I feel like it has some of that power in it and if I were to mess up put my energy into that mess and mess that up i feel like i'm being disrespectful mm-hmm. to that to that energy mm. to that love to that determination so i rather keep it as pure as i can so i i think that's why i have kind of like issues like with the whole kissing cradle i'm just like no <laughs> this is not meant for my energy this is meant f- this is meant for their energy yeah, man. Like, like you know what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. You could kiss my baby Jesus. It's okay. It's cause they, your baby Jesus creeps the My shit baby out Jesus of me. accepts everyone. You sound very popular amongst the uh, <laughs> the uh, the art museum guards. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like what you said is like very true. Like I mm. do think that objects, especially like ancient objects or like objects that I've been in, like places where like you know stuff went down like they do have like a certain energy to them and that's why like i believe that like haunted dolls exist Mm -hmm. because i feel Mm -hmm. like children in particular like they grow very close to like their toys and like their objects and if Mm -hmm. like something happened and like that toy was there to like witness it then like that toy or that object like it it gains that energy you know and that's also why like if I buy, like, an object secondhand, like, I try to clean it to, like, show respect for it. Cute. Because I have a doll in my room. May or may not be haunted. I did oh. buy it at an estate sale. But, like, I remember when I first got her, like, I made sure to clean up, like, my whole desk and, like, clean up her hair and everything to show respect for it. And then it kept knocking down one of my na na dolls. Oh. So. It doesn't like new dolls. Oh, no. But... She has to fucking live with it. <laughs> like, this is my na 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 doll. Yeah, she watches me sleep. The doll. Jesus. Uh, so I hope that keeps her entertained. And she watches me do the podcast. Maybe that's why you and... have fucking 
uh, night demons. Oh, God, I only had one. Mm. And it only happened like twice. He hasn't come back in a while. Mm. Oh, yeah. You only had one. Uh, it only happened twice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I had like a sheet pulling entity. Oh, I hate that. So that happened a couple of times. I hate that a lot. I hate that. I mm-hmm. hate that. Like, dude, it's already cold enough. Fuck the back up. <laughs> Don't touch my sheets. Yeah, no, but someone not. has also, like, passed away in my house, so there's, like, a lot of residual energies in my home right yeah. now. So a lot of stuff has been happening. You gotta cleanse, dude. Yeah, I gotta cleanse. Yeah, I, I have the stuff. sage, and I haven't even done it. Oh, it's what I said. I gave to you. I spent so much money. <laughs> uh, it's, it's I, it's I put there. it in a special box. I was just like, you I'm could, gonna use this. You could also hang it um by your by your door. Ah, that makes sense. I have the mm. candle. I've put on the candle and like Does I use the nice? the incense and stuff to keep spirits away. Nice. But like my mom says that I shouldn't be worried because it's like I don't know. It's like I'm not like, worried. I, have, I've never I just had, would like, prefer it not happen. <laughs> Like, I've had, like, the thing with, like, the sheet pulling happen twice, but that was only because there was, like, a big argument happening in the house, so mm. that's probably, like, what, what like, resulted in that. Like, negative energies, like, attract negative entities. hmm So, you know. My mom says not to worry about it, because if it's, like, the person that passed away in my home, then I sh- shouldn't, like, worry about it, because, like, if it's, like, my grandma, then it's just, like, she's just hanging out. She lived here, you know? She's chilling. She, she just likes the house. Yeah, she likes the house. Cute. I would give. Have you given her a tour yet? Whom? The doll. No. It doesn't. Well, she need knows to my know. room. <laughs> I. <laughs> I. How about you give her like a little tour and make her feel like the house is like she's like she's part of the home and all that. Cleanse it first. Cleanse the shit out of your home first, and then once it's done, give her a little tour. Make her feel like she actually ble- she actually belongs there. Maybe she's just kind of like lonely, confused, a little irritated that she's been passed around. So she knows where to so get drink of like water. She- yeah, <laughs> let her feel like she's part of the home. Maybe it'll calm her down. Oh yeah, I didn't even think that the sheep pulling entity could be the doll. She's chill though. <gasps> yeah, yeah, but just try that. You never know. Mm. How did dolls like, get bored, dude? You can pull my sheets window. here. You can pull these you sheets. You look. You can also pull the tablecloth over here. <laughs> Don't need to pull yeah, my sheets. Mm. Yeah, man, dolls get There's bored. There's a lot of stuff to look at in my room. I have a lot, a lot of toys in my room, you guys. It's that a problem. She does. Are you about to have that some more, baby? <laughs> that she does. Yeah. But it's crimmer time, you can get more. So exciting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come with Christmas. And then the episode gets irredeemably derailed. Ten minuets were cut here. Nikita doxes her job. She explains how direct action against politicians can be used for goods and services. Thought he explains why adult toys don't make for good white elephant gifts. Sock monkey jumps out a ten-story building. Sucks to suck. Anyways, well, thank you for listening to this episode of Haunt Saw Us, where we were haunted on me. Yeah. Yeah. It's past tense. I mean, I guess we didn't talk about it, but I... I Quickly, everything that you know about Christmas is actually pagan. Gift-giving, the image of Santa Claus, Christmas stockings, decking the halls. Okay, bye! Play us out. (laughs) Good night, everyone.